Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be a makeup basket video for the month of February 2019. What you see here is the makeup basket I had for January 2019. I'm going to go through what products I used up, what I'm keeping in my makeup drawer, what I'm putting back in my collection, and then we'll go through my collection and pick out some more products to play with this month. So let's just get started. I'll start with the ones that I have already used up. I actually used up quite a few products this month. I finished this Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm in the shade C7 and I liked this concealer a lot and I'm sad to see it go but I'm going to work on some other concealers that I have in my collection. The LA Pro Conceal is going to stay. It's my main concealer that I'm using right now along with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I'm going to keep both of these this month. I finished up an eyeliner. This is from LA Girl. It was just like a regular gel pencil in, I think it was the shade brown. I'm not entirely sure, but it was just a regular eye pencil and it worked really nicely. I'm working on some other ones in my collection. You'll see that later on once we're looking at eye stuff. I finished a couple powders. This is the Hourglass Diffused Light Powder. This one is done, so obviously this is going in my empties. Same with this Tarte Powder. It's really dirty, but it's empty, so this one is also leaving. And I also finished up my Lash Princess Mascara, so I will pull out a new mascara to use this month. I do have quite a few products in my project pan currently, so I'm going to keep all these. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter, the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I only have a tiny, tiny little bit left. I don't know if you can even see. Really not that much left. The Ulta Lip Primer, a lip pencil from NYX, and the Urban Decay Ozone Primer Pencil. And lastly, these three products here. This is a mini Becca Moonstone Highlighter, the Tarte Party Mini Blush, and the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Light. So these are also my project pan, so I'm also going to be keeping these this month. Lastly, I forgot to mention the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is also in a project pan, so I am going to keep it this month as well. Basically, everything else is going back. I kind of want to do a rehaul and just really play with some products I haven't played with in a long time. I have some products that I just want to make some progress on or finish before the end of the month. So this is basically all going back. I really didn't get to play with the Dose of Colors palette as much as I wanted to, but I'm focusing on some other eyeshadows in my collection. I'm doing a Panless Eyeshadows project, so I don't really have the ability to focus this one on this one just yet. I actually used the e.l.f. one quite a bit. The shade I used the most was this purple shade right here. I do like this palette a lot, um, but I'm going to put this back as well as those shadows in the corner. Everything's just going back. I just need to start fresh. Alright, let's start with eyeshadow palettes. So this um, is a little bit of a different setup than what I had last time. I have decided to purchase some black velvet fabric, and I have that on the bottom. Um, I am not done with it. I want to add something sticky underneath so that it doesn't slide whenever I open the drawers. But for now, that's what I have on the bottom. So these are my larger palettes and then my singles here. And honestly, I have that Pan Those Eyeshadows project happening. I have hit pan on a couple of the shadows, so I will be choosing new ones. So honestly, I don't even know what type of eyeshadows I'm going to be using this month. Stay tuned for the update. I'm really excited to share my progress with you. So as much as I want to grab for the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, it's just so beautiful and I haven't reached for it for a while. I will put it in my makeup drawer, but I can't guarantee that I'll get to play with it too much. It depends on if the shades go nicely with the shadows that I randomly choose in that Pan Those Eyeshadows project. So I'm going to pull it out optimistically, uh, but we'll see if I actually get a chance to use it. That first drawer was my larger palettes, and the second drawer is now my smaller palettes and some other miscellaneous eye items. Like I said, I don't know how much I'm going to get to reach for other shadows besides the ones that are randomly chosen for me. I do know that two of the shadows in that project are from the Creepy Cute palette. This just came in the mail last month, and I just so happened to choose two shades from it for my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. I don't know if you can see I have two tiny little baby dips in those shades right there. Those are the two shades from my project. I'll most likely be playing with this a lot this month so that I can get some more progress on those two shades. Really loving this so far. I'm a big fan of this palette. I do need a new mascara, so I'm going to grab the other one that I have. This is the Mad Lash Mascara from The Balm. I've been using it for a week or so, and it's okay. I think I'll like it better once the formula dries up a little bit more, but this is the mascara I'll use this month. And because I used up my other eyeliners last month, I'm going to pull this one out. It's the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. It's in the shade Hooked on Espresso. It's not, it's not focusing very well. There we go. So this is the one I'll use this month. 
And I am going to pull out this NYX eyeshadow pencil. I feel like if I'm playing with colors, playing with new eyeshadows, I kind of want to have like a really good white base to play with. Also, I keep saying I'm going to use it and then I never do, so I might as well pull it out and just have it in front of me every morning. Maybe I'll be more likely to use it. The next drawer is blushes and you'll notice I got rid of the little jewelry container that I used to hold them and now I have them just lying out flat. I think it's a lot easier to look at them this way. And I was kind of getting sick of like that old dusty <laughs> jewelry case. I still have it. I might repurpose it for something else. But for now, I think the velvet liner is doing really nicely. I got the idea from Mariah Leonard. And um, she did something similar like that with her like best of the best makeup drawer, like her top makeup drawer. She did a video all about it. And she mentioned how she used black velvet on the bottom. And I think that's really, I mean, it makes it look more luxurious, but it also keeps them from slip sliding and just kind of makes it more fun to pick makeup out of the drawer. So I give her credit, she's the one who thought of it and I'm kind of just copycatting. <laughs> so I am using the Tarte Party Mini Blush in my project pan currently, but there's not a lot left. I imagine I will finish that up relatively soon. I do want to play with the Too Faced Baby Love Blush. I've just been really liking it. I think this will be the next blush that I try to finish because I have already hit pan on it and it is a product that I hit pan on relatively quickly. So I feel like I could use it up, maybe not this year necessarily, I'm not going to force myself to try to finish it, but I am going to try to put some more work on it. It's a really beautiful everyday blush, but if I'm feeling kind of fancy, I kind of want to pull out this Hourglass blush. I feel like I never get to give this the attention that it deserves. It's in the shade um, Incandescent Electra, and it looks a lot more neon and bright in person. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's beautiful and I want to play with this maybe a little bit this month too, so I'm going to pull these two out. Next drawer is bronzers and I did recently purchase this bronzer from The Balm and I did play with it a little bit this month, but not a ton, um, just a handful of times. I think it's a beautiful color and I did put it away so I could focus on some other bronzers in my collection. More importantly, this Laura Geller one. <clears throat> I had recently hit pan on it and I decided to repress it. There's still a ton of product in there, but I feel like it's softened up the, floor, the formula a little bit. <clears throat> I found that after I hit pan on this bronzer, the formula was a little bit harder to pick up on my brush. So even though it probably wasn't ready for me to repress just yet, there's still a ton of product in here. I felt like it would help make it a little bit easier to actually pick up on my brush. So I repressed it and I'd like to play with it. It's a really nice light colored bronzer. It's really great for fair skin. It's in the shade Sunrise Fair. And I really like this for the winter time when I really don't have any sun. <laughs> so I'm going to pull this out this month and focus on it. Next up is highlighters. And oh, there's so many highlighters in here that I want to play with. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do is play more with this palette here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a palette with a couple different shades from different palettes in it. And I really would like to just play with this a little bit more. Um, see if this is even something that would go good on my skin. It's kind of like a pinky peachy type of duochrome. It's not really picking up on camera. And I don't know if that's too dark for my skin. If that works it better as a blush topper or what. So I just want to play with these a little bit more. I love Crushed Pearl. It's my favorite one. So I kind of just want to pull these out and play with them again. And I think that's more than enough highlighters for this month. Next up is foundations, and honestly, I haven't been wearing a lot of liquid foundation lately. I've really been trying to focus on this It Cosmetics CC Plus powder. I had hit pan on it and decided to repress it, so I don't have a ton left, and honestly, I would just to like to get this out of my collection. If I use a very light hand, like use some concealer on spots on my face, and then use a light hand of this all over, it looks nice, but I'm just kind of... I don't know, over expensive powder foundations. I'd like to use this up. I've had it for a while. It was a backup of another powder like this, and so I'd like to use it up because it's pretty old. I am going to pull out this Besame Rose powder. I really like it. I just recently purchased the full size of the Ultraviolet powder. That one was on sale for like $10, so I jumped on it. Thanks to everyone who made a comment and mentioned that it was on sale. It was a really great deal. It was like more than half off, and it was free shipping. So I can finally use this one up knowing that I have the Violet one to take its place when it's done. I also have this little mini Laura Mercier powder container. It has a bunch of the Meow Cosmetics... Um, samples all mixed together. They were all a really good match for me, so I felt comfortable putting them together in one. And I'm hoping to use them up. They were dollar samples, but they were really nice. They're really great um, light coverage foundations, but this brand, Meow Cosmetics, has 
like 86 different shades with all different types of levels of coverage and all different undertones. It's a really great brand to check out and they sell dollar samples so you can purchase a couple and kind of try them out and see what shades would work best for you. So I'd kind of like to use this a little bit more. I do have the Milani setting spray in my project pan, but once that one is finished, I want to use this. This, it says pure on it. If you can see, it's a refurbished Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but I have some of this Pure Cosmetics setting spray inside of it. I like the sprayer on this. I like the container better, and the Pure Mist, for some reason, starts to stick after a while, so it's kind of, whenever I push it down to spray, it kind of sticks and then won't go back up, and it takes forever to get a nice even spray all over my face. I prefer the mister on this bottle so I refurbished it. So this is what I'll use as a setting spray this month. Also I want to grab this powder here. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I have repressed it and hit pan on it again. I've been using it sometimes to set my under eyes, sometimes just to set my eyeshadow primer. Um, just kind of little ways to use it up. I'm not really crazy at this, about this powder and so I am eager to use it up. I'm sure I can get this done by the end of the month and move it out of my collection. But I think that's everything for foundations. Next up is lip products. I don't have any colors specifically that I want to play with. It really depends on which eyeshadows I end up randomly choosing this month. So I am going to just leave this as it is. I do want to pull out a lipstick that I recently purchased. Let me give you a little sneak peek of some makeup that I have been purchasing but keeping to the side. So I do have a little drawer of some new products that I don't want to open just yet. Either I'm finishing up a product and I have bought something to replace it. For example, the Bare Minerals Color Corrector. That will replace my NYX Dark Circle Concealer once that one's gone. And same with this Besame powder, it will replace the rose powder once that one is gone. But then I have some other ones that I don't want to pull out just yet, like a Becca blush and a primer from Cover FX. Like, I don't want to pull those out just yet. Um, and I also bought replacements for two of my favorite Stila shades, Como and Venezia, if you can see those. I'm really excited, <laughs> really excited to have those back in my collection. I received a Sephora gift card and I decided to pick up another one of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is definitely like a very much a treat myself type of product. It's in the Kissing formula, which is my favorite, and it's in the shade Live It Up. I haven't used it yet. I've kind of been wanting to make more progress on the other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I own, but this is just such a gorgeous pinky mauve shade. Um, it matches my lip color really well, and I just really love this formula. It has a little kissy mark on the bullet. Really nice touch. I'm going to try really hard not to pull it out this month and really focus on the other lipsticks that I have out, but it's something I'm so excited to start playing with. And if I sound really out of breath, it's just because my nose is a little bit stuffed and it's a little warm in here with all the lights, so I'm just breathing a little bit more heavily than normal. And also this invisible bronzer from Bare Minerals. This one was on sale and I think I purchased the lightest shade. I hear really great things about this formula. I'm working on some other bronzers, but I do plan on using up a lot of bronzers this year, so I don't feel bad about purchasing one or two new bronzers this year. I used up four last year, so I'm making good progress. I'm using what I have, but I was just so excited to try this, and then when it was half off on the Ulta sale, I just had to grab it. So that's everything in my recent haul drawer as well. Okay, so this is my everyday makeup drawer for February. I'm so excited to play with this palette right here, this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, some new blushes, get some more use out of this pure uh, setting spray, finish up some project pan items, stuff like that. I'm really excited for these products. I feel like it's a necessary change. I feel like I was using a lot of the same products month after month trying to use them up, and now I can kind of play around and try some new things. Very excited for this month. Let me know if there are any makeup products that you recently purchased or that you pulled back out that you're excited to use this month. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!